This month it's all a bit dark and deadly, with the release of River of Blood and a whole host of vampire content. But there's a light at the end of the tunnel as we bring you NXT's release date. I have some very exciting news to share with you this month, starting with a fantastic set of updates all about vampires, which culminates in the finale to the epic Mayaki storyline, River of Blood. The Mayaki plotline started back in 2005, the brutal tale of a ragtag bunch of refugees fighting a desperate battle against the darkness of Mauritania. This seven-part chain of harsh horrors has taken us straight into the heart of the vampiric homeland, and now its grim conclusion awaits those brave enough to stick their neck out amongst those who wish to feast from it. If you've not quite got yourself ready for the Mauritanian madness that awaits, we've got a month full of vampire-themed content to get the blood pumping. The first of which we're calling In Memory of the Mayaki. In it, you'll be able to build a monument in honour of those fallen friends that you've lost in the quest series, creating statues for construction XP, which act like a supercharged prayer altar, giving bonus prayer points to those that use it. Players who complete these statues in April will receive even more rewards too, so stake your claim as soon as inhumanly possible. You'll also be able to search the lands for the Lost Toys, a collection of 13 strange playthings which, when complete, can unlock a new cosmetic reward and earn you some precious columbarium keys. Finally, you'll be able to explore the new ghoulish crypt we'll be adding, complete with a new high-level ravenous ghoul which drops a very useful item which is linked to the quest finale. We've also graphically reworked Patadomus, the temple to the far east of Varrock, giving you some great vistas to enjoy the Mauritanian swamps from. It's also the focal point for the quest, and what a quest it is! In Rivers of Blood, the battle lines are drawn at the River Salve. The armies of Mistalin await a battle the likes of which has not been seen since the times of the First God Wars. Leading the vampire army is Vanescula, the mistress of Darkmire, wielder of a brutal weapon that could end all freedom in Varrock. It's a desperate time, with Gilinor on the brink of disaster. Strengthen the magic of the salve and kit out the Varrock army to face this threat. Only then will your forces be strong enough to defeat this legion of undead and bring an end to this terrifying tale. We've taken the spirit of all those quests before it to give this Fifth Age saga the ending it deserves, taking you on a journey across Mauritania to explore all its hidden secrets and loose ends, including the art of hemalchemy. Elsewhere in RuneScape, we've got time-limited events with strange rifts opening to the Shadow Realm, earning chunky runecrafting and summoning XP and unlocking two new sets of wings. We've got metallic dragon pendants to help you out when slaying these scaly fiends and a vampire hunter kit that helps you out big time in Mauritania. And even some new elegant navigator and kimono outfits on Solomon's store and we've saved the best news till last. Because this month, we're proud to bring you NXT, the latest and greatest RuneScape game client, bringing better game performance than ever before, showing the RuneScape world in all its glory. You'll be able to see even greater distances, enjoy dynamic shadows and fantastic lighting effects, making the world an even better place to spend time in. On the 18th of April, the new game client will be available for everyone to download, with full details on how to get it started. It really is a huge leap forward to your game world, making the game look and feel truly beautiful. To celebrate this fantastic advancement in RuneScape technology, why not take part in Benedict's World Tour, a globe-trotting mini-adventure that's custom-built to take you to Gillinor's most wondrous sights. There's plenty of XP lamps to collect, so get stuck in. And thanks to everyone who's helped out by sending us bug reports and giving us feedback. We really couldn't have done it without you. Have fun, Wooters out. We'll be back at the same time next week as we catch up with the Guardians to discover the events leading up to the River of Blood.